Hey y'all, welcome back to FSU, another episode. We've finished the chassis, aka not really me. Anthony did that, just helped a little bit and banged my head, but it's fine. I'm fine. But in today's episode, we're going to talk about gussets and shock mounts and link brackets. And these are from TMR Customs, which is one of our main sponsors for this chassis. Ow! <laughs> We are, <laughs> this, we're gonna turn into a gusset. I don't know how that works yet, but I'm gonna learn. But we're having to use gussets to add more support on the chassis because. <laughs> Makes it stronger in the intersection. <laughs> Makes it stronger in the what? Key intersections. In the key intersections. And it's also required for Ultra 4 Racing to have gussets in the key component areas of the chassis, A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, those things like that. And these are shock mounts. They're TMR prefabricated shock mounts. Um, kind of makes it easier for us with building the chassis. So these will go in the corners. This is just a setup for one um, that TMR has already designed for the chassis. So these are the shock mounts. Um, these are the TMR front and rear link brackets and um, once we get more into detail um, we'll discuss the geometry of these and why we do things the way that we do them for the build. First thing I want to do um, instead of going through and getting on the gussets and everything installed first, first thing I want to do just because of ease of everything is I want to go ahead and get the shock brackets um, all put together and tack welded from where we broke our shock in Tennessee this will give me a perfect uh, mounting um, piece for all of the separation one and a half inches uh, with a half inch bolt that's pretty standard for all coilovers shocks things of that nature so I'm gonna get these back ones tacked in place and get these front ones kind of put together here and on the chassis where they need to be and now i'm just going to kind of just guesstimate right now on the front ones kind of just tack them in place um, until we get our axles and everything underneath once i get these shock ones these shock mounts installed or tack welded rather and in place the next thing i'll do is i'll work on the link brackets and then from there we can support the link brackets with gussets go through and just uh, actually add the rest of the gussets that we need as well as build our dash we need to build a dash bar obviously there's no flooring so we'll have to get our floor bars and things like that installed on this chassis um, so we'll get to that rather quickly first things first I want to get these shock brackets tack welded together put them in place and uh, see how they look Now the next thing that we're going to do, lower link brackets. Lower link brackets, kind of got them fitted up here in a jig where I can get them all welded up. One thing I do like about these, these are for these are from TMR Customs. One of one of the favorite things I like about the TMR Customs link brackets, shock mount brackets, everything. They all come with weld washers. With that said, got these all rigged up in a jig with the adequate spacing that we need 
I've got four of these brackets um, from TMR. Gonna go get them tack welded in place or tack together and then tack them on the frame where we wanna put them both front and rear. Now that we got all of our lower control arm brackets all welded up, um, as you see, you know, with the teardrop, everything is nice and solid. Everything was super hot. Um, now it's time to get them fitted underneath here where we need them to be. As you can see how they fit and they leave plenty of space for welding. And um, what we want to do is we want to get these in a proper location where we can get bolts through, nuts through. You want to think about all that stuff. And I discussed earlier how we wanted to do um, checking our anti-squat, anti-dives, and center of gravities and all that. So what I have here is a piece of paper that has all of our link separation and basically the kind of layout that I want to do for our lower and upper control arm brackets. But I'm going to get these tack welded in place where I need them to be. Then we're going to move on to gussets. And then I'll uh, talk to you about a few key points on the gussets. Where we need gussets, why I think we need gussets there, and the benefits of having those additional gussets um, for the Jeep. All right, there in the last video there, the little last little clip, uh, you saw I cut out the tunnel for the transmission. Uh, that's part of just the chassis build itself. I got some caps, we'll grind that down, flush, cap it off. But um, I kind of went through and added some blue masking tape of kind of what I wanted to do with everything as far as the main gussets and everything like that. Um, basically all the high endpoint air, high impact areas plus ultra four rule specs on a few things is where I've gusseted everything. And I've kind of based everything off of Miller's Pro Chassis and how they kind of built theirs. Um, it's not exactly the same dimensions, but uh, I kind of went with that, tried to get everything as close as I can. We have made some progress. We've done the link brackets, the shock mounts, and the gussets. We as in Anthony. <laughs> but we did it! Yeah, like she said, um, we pretty much got all the main gussets done, as well as the shock mounts, link brackets, um, sway bar, uh, sway bar, Brackets, tubes already pre-installed, bumpers, D-rings, subflooring, dash bars, all that good stuff. And it's kind of all intertwined together and gusseted together. 
kind of dig into the the gussets and why we put them where we put them um first of all you can see the windshield gussets we put them in the corners of the windshield one that's ultra four rules um, but i wanted to do that for um, structural rigidity as far as impact loads for the the shock mounts um, we ran a bar over which we'll be able to take out um, with removable clamps when we get those in we'll get them installed as well as these bars that run to the windshield pillars i uh, wanted to make sure that if we had the impact here it'll kind of disperse the load across into that into the upper x as well we got our winch plates uh, bar kind of set in place there's going to be a bar here to kind of gusset it and support our bump stop when the time comes but we'll do that later we got our motor mounts installed subflooring it was a big one we went ahead and ran it from the front part of the tube all the way to the back that way there's no chance of the front tubes bending where the tunnel is cut out for the actual transmission and then we actually ran a bar across from the bulkheads on both sides and what that's going to do is it's going to protect any side load um, from the chassis from any kind of tweaks and i'll also put removable clamps on those as well uh, just in case it make it easier to remove the transmission uh, and transfer case whenever those are installed as far as the actual link brackets the front link brackets you can see there there we added an additional bar there and we ran a bracket or a gusset to that bar to make the front impact rigidity kind of go up the chassis and towards the rear um, that way that has that way it minimizes any kind of deflection in those bars as well as in the rear here you can see how we kind of went up to the sub bar to keep that from bending um, i really want to run another bar or kind of do a different design down here to run a bar with additional quick disconnect clamps that way we can take the transmission out of the bottom just to make it easy to work on once we get this thing all together as well as on the dash here you can kind of see how we ran from the front all the way to the back to this bulkhead as well kind of adding additional strength um, and any kind of tweaks that we may get um, from impacts um, with this front suspension and then we'll figure out the back as we go but we did add a, a b pillar which is part of ultra four rules and the actual shock mount itself kind of gussets um, the c pillar here so we don't necessarily need to run a bar or anything there and we'll get our fuel cell back here get our axles and stuff installed and kind of see where we need to put those things and on the rear here we went ahead and put the sway bar back here as well we'll run the sway bar up to the front and down earlier in this video i did show the rear brackets that we were going to use rear lower link brackets i decided to go a different route tmr offers a custom lower mount bracket just specifically for this chassis and i went ahead and ordered those and wanted to utilize those um, for a couple of reasons one you can see it here it's installed now but it integrates all the chassis bars all into one piece and that just adds additional strength that i was going to do with the other lowers that i had on here but this kind of combines it all and makes it a lot easier so went ahead and done that but yeah um the only gussets that we don't have we're going to um off this off this design here we're going to run a, a secondary bar to the upper links to kind of create any deflection there to keep those from any kind of tweaks keep those nice and strong as well as the motor mounts when we get our motor installed we will support those as well and the transmission down at the bottom transfer case all that good stuff <laughs> anyways that's going to conclude this video we hope you like what you saw make sure you like comment subscribe hit the notification bell um, that way you'll be notified whenever new videos of the chassis build are uploaded and uh we'll see you guys in the next one let's get to it